So we've read a lot of fantastic comics and graphic novels throughout the year, but mm. just because we won't be here each week telling you about them does not mean that the reading will end. Ah, but if a tree falls in the forest and then gets pulped and turned into a series of comics, but no one's there to review it, does it still get read? Yes, that's a really weird question. Well, pardon me for trying to get a bit <laughs> philosophical and raise the time. Okay, fine. What are you going to be reading over the holiday break? Well, for me, it's going to be a humanoids Christmas. Ah. Some of my favourite titles throughout the year have come from humanoids, like Pietrolino or Bad Break. Yep. So I'm going to delve into the back catalogue and see what else is there. Ah, fantastic. Mm. Any titles you have in mind? Three. As a matter of fact. Ah, well, trot them out. I'm going to start off with an absolute classic. The supreme hardcover edition of Alejandro Jodorowsky's sci-fi masterwork, Techno Priests. Ah, now that is an excellent place to start. Yes. And where are you going to go from there? Well, after Albino's epic journey to become supreme techno priest, mm. I think I might need something a little lighter. So I'm going to jump into Monsieur Jean, The Singles Theory by Philippe Dupy and Charles Barbarian. It follows the day-to-day -day life and everyday woes of a young writer. And it's actually the first time that this particular one is available in English. Oh, excellent. Mm. And what is topping off this trio of holiday delights? The Fantastic Voyage of Lady Rosenbilt. Wow, even the title is pretty good. Indeed. Mm. This one is written by Pierre Gabou with art by Romuald Rootman and takes place in the same world as another of my favourites from this year, District 14. And what is this one about? Well, it is about Lady Rosenbilt who goes on a fantastic voyage. Yeah, you know, I might have picked that up from the title. <laughs> okay, more specifically, it follows one of my favourite characters from District 14, Bigger D, in his younger years as he embarks on a seaplane voyage that will change his life forever. Well, that sounds marvellous. But enough about my humanoids extravaganza. What are you going to be looking at? Ah, well, I'm going to be going a bit nuts on image titles cool. myself. Yeah, I'm going to be rereading some, mm. I'm going to be catching up on others, and checking out some new stuff as well. Awesome. So let's start with your reread then. Ah. With the deluxe hardcover of Cowboy Ninja Viking coming out, I have the perfect excuse for visiting one of my old favourites again. AJ Lieberman and Riley Rosmo's tale of hitmen with multiple personality disorders is equal parts hilarious and and awesome. Okay, cool. Well, what about your catch-up? There, I will be jumping back into Brubaker and Phillips' fantastic series, Fatal, which I am awfully behind on. It's up to three trades now, and wow. I've only read the first eight issues. <laughs> For those of you who missed it, we did actually review the first issue, mm. and so it's really nice that it's still going on strong. Yeah. Actually, I might have to find time to do that one. That's a good idea. Yeah. Now, as for new reads, mm -hmm. I've decided to get into sex. I'll grow up. <laughs> Come on, it's funny when you say it like that. <laughs> well, okay, I will admit that when I was doing my research I had some trouble. Just take it from me, don't type sex and image into Google. I saw some things. I bet you did. But you're actually talking about Joe Casey and Piotr Kowalski's comic series, right? Yes. A former superhero and Batman analogue returns to his home city having quit the hero biz and tries to re-enter society as a regular guy. I think it should be a fun read. Yeah, so that's what we'll be reading over the next few weeks, but what about you guys? Uh, yes, let us know in the comments section. Are you burning through your pile of shame this Christmas, <laughs> or are you leafing through some old favourites? See, I just want to really read for town now. Oh, well, there's only one copy of the second trade left, so I'm pro No, wait, uh, no!